Hi there. So here's a quick tutorial on how to shorten the link to your Google Form. A lot of times when we uh, create a Google Form, we're tempted to email it out using the email button up here. Uh, but sometimes the people, or like our students in our class, don't have an email address that we can use. Or you don't want to wait for them to check their email and you just want to get right into it. So the link on the bottom of your Google Form, uh, the blue link here, is, uh, is really long um, and that sometimes it doesn't necessarily work to put that up on the board. There's too many letters, it's just uh, too complicated. So the best way to do it is to select it, copy it, and then use a URL shortener. So I'll do that now. I'm just going to uh, select it here and uh, control or command C to copy it. Now um, there are several to choose from, bit.ly you know, you'll, you'll see is a great one, bit.ly or just bit.ly.com. Um, also, tinyurl.com is a great one. In addition to that, there's also Google's URL shortener. Heck, you're creating a Google form. Why not use Google's URL shortener? Um, the only issue I have with Google's URL shortener is that it's not uh, customizable. So I'm only wishing that that would be the case someday. So I'll head back over here to bit.ly. Um, just to show you a couple examples of this. So when I get to Bitly, I just click in here and I paste the link to the form and then I just click shorten. You'll see that um, uh, I've created this here before just as a test. Uh, I get this link and uh, the link itself is uh, not bad. It's really short, very easy to remember, but in a classroom setting and even with, uh, with students and adults, a lot of times people get messed up with this capital, these capital letters. They don't realize that this is a case sensitive link and you have to capitalize. And a lot of times uh, people don't do that and they get frustrated. I like to be able to customize it and uh, you have to be signed in to do that. So uh, just head over here to the sign in button, click on that and uh, create an account if you don't have one or just simply sign in. Okay, so here I am in my account. You can tell you're signed in because down here is your icon, and up here you're signed in with your username. You'll get this blue box. Just simply uh, click on the blue box and paste your link inside it. Um, but now I have this customize button that is active. When I click on it, I can now come up with a unique web address that people can remember. So we'll give one a shot here. Okay, so here's one I just made up, and hopefully it'll work. You'll know it works when you click on the customize button, and it is. It's unique enough to get its own address. So now I can write this up on the board and kids are not going to have any problems with it. Just be careful not to use capital letters when, when writing it. Uh, either you make it all lowercase or all capital uh, before you share that with your students. Once you have an account with Bitly, you can now create QR codes from that shortened link. Yeah, it's helpful to have a customized link for keep people to remember, but you can also have some fun with QR codes. So down below the, uh, where I created the link, click on Info Plus. Now you have a QR code that you can use with smartphones or any sort of portable device that allows uh, it to read QR codes. This can be a great activity for students, and it's also helpful just to post these QR codes around your room for kids to have access to at any time. Well, I hope that helps.